welcome to our show Shalom from Olive Tree. Well, today we'd like to talk about the Bible study, about the knowledge. Uh, we often using this expression, no replacement for personal Bible study. What is it Bible study? How you have to do this? If what is the knowledge, you know, where does the knowledge come from and for what we have to have a knowledge? I understand the perfect ideal when husband and wife as a believers can study together. But I would like to encourage you today, please find your partner, uh, find a partner for Bible study, the group, the church, because today we're going to talk about what is knowledge. And my guest, Sergey Kupsov. Hi, Sergey. How are you? Thank you for having me. <laughs> we're preparing this topic. Let's start, you know, from this. What is the knowledge? What is the lack of knowledge? And what yeah, is the what knowledge? For? And what for? Yeah, what it for? Why we should study? You know, um, it's very important to study Bible personally, to follow God uh, through His writings, because it's a living word. It's a living word, it's not a uh, just a theoretical consideration of uh, people or something, something that works. And um, there is many things we, we're taking for granted or maybe, maybe taking easy uh, uh, walking with God, following Christ. And very often we're saying, oh, Jesus has done everything for us if, uh, and we're forgetting we are in covenant. It's a both sides things, what we should do as a part of, uh, as a partition of covenant. And um, I'd like to ask you to read uh, something from Hosea. All right. We're going to read from book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected the knowledge, I also will reject you from being my priest, since you have forgotten the law of our God, I also will forget your children. Also, in, in different tra translation, you can um, read that my people perish, yeah, the, because of lack of knowledge, and we using this so often and so easy, and not even pay, paying attention to this. That's my people. Who yes. is my people? And we're so easy uh, saying, oh, yes, if somebody made a mistake or something, something, something happening with people who saying, my people perish without knowledge. And we're missing the word perish. We're taking so easy with this that not even realizing they perished. My people, your brothers and sisters. Yeah. You know what? And how we being paying attention to this? That's my people, your brother and sister are perished without was a lack of knowledge. And why lack of knowledge? And what knowledge for? And interesting, where does the knowledge come from? And who is responsible for the knowledge? And uh, there is a very important to know because as uh, uh, church members, we are uh, most of the time rejecting our roots, rejecting what uh, Jewish experience, Hebrew experience telling to us to, to uh, get on and to have it, you know, because it's belonged to us well, uh, through the covenant, through the Jesus Christ, Yeshua, the Messiah. And interesting, uh, there is a four um, even methods of study Bible. And uh, uh, it's helped me. I, I'll find it, okay? Because uh, mm -hmm. uh, I put it somewhere. Because I don't want to make a mistake. Uh, <clears throat> first, peshat, a simple meaning uh, of the text. Mm -hmm. Ramos, there is a clues in only Hebrew text. You know the Hebrew letters. Yes. It's the same number. Numbers. And you have a number. The same yeah. number. The mm -hmm. symbols. And the, all this clue, the second uh, method of study, all this clue only in Hebrew, not in translation. It's just pulling us into the our roots. And we have a drash. It's a collection of uh, writings, commentaries, you know, and uh, people uh, who 
had their own experience walking with God, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, recently I, I've been talking to one pastor. He said, no, no, no I, I don't want to read anything. I'm, I'm reading all, only my Bible. Okay, how we should read about, for example, about Passover, if we, if we never experience, we never knowing what is about, how Jesus uh, uh, took the third cup. And for that, us, of course, you know, we have a lot of questions and confusion. What is this from? You know, what he is doing? Why he has a supper? That's yes, right. We, absolutely. We, we have do no not idea. even know the uh, Seder, mm -hmm. what it, how it was order, going, yeah. how it was yeah, order. Mm -hmm. And the last one, the secrets of uh, God's word, thought. And ignoring this, of course, in church, we, 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 I would say in church, uh, uh, we have a... Um, Congregation, where is and I can tell because we were going to many uh, churches to preach, and we're talking to people, and uh, m many, I would say, many and many and many people do not know the basics of the biblical writings. Basics, it that's where it goes. And it's, it's a it's, lack of knowledge. It's it's where 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 it's go. It's what's it gonna do. Mm -hmm. You know a why. Why they, uh, then this uh, mindset, you know, and uh, there is um, where we have to consider all the time that a Hebrew mindset and, uh, and the Greek Romans mindset. For example, if I, uh, for what I should study, most of the time we, we have a teaching, we have a preaching, uh, the more I know, the better. Most of informative, you know, oh, I have this information, I have this information. And we just like, you know, they put information That's on a, information. Like a consuming mm -hmm. uh, approach to, to the word. Yeah, guess to what, know. guess what. Yeah, I know yes. more. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's for me, I know more and I have a more respect and all the stuff, you know. Even even uh, recently, maybe many months ago, Pat Robertson uh, TV show, and one big guy was uh, uh, organizing some um, for youngsters in Jerusalem, something, something, something. He said, there will be a, a most anointed pastor and teachers. And speakers, yeah. Speakers. And I wanted to ask this guy, can you hear yourself what you're talking about? It's, it's a, any, any uh, uh, simple uh, Bible, Bible uh, dictionary for, for Sunday school, uh, there is written what is anointing is. Mm -hmm. Where is, where is a, a, can it be most or less anointed people, you know? That is a Greek Roman approach to this. If I know, I know more and you know less, there is, a, there is a very dangerous stuff. Okay. And we're coming to this. Who is responsible for the giving knowledge? Yes. Who is responsible? And, uh, and what is uh, come out from this for of people who are responsible or, or who are responsible? Can you find for me? We're going to read from the book of Malachi, chapter 2, verse 7. For the lips of the priest shall preserve knowledge, and the man shall seek instruction from his mouth. For he is the messenger of the Lord of the host. From the lips of the messenger. Okay. The priests. The priests. The teachers. Mm -hmm. The pastors are responsible for the knowledge of people. You know? And how it's, uh, they represent the word of God as a messengers. Yeah? That must be word of God. Not a uh, uh, mental ascent or something to this. It's word about word of God. So he you have know. to bring instruction. What is instruction? What we study? It's a, that's right. It's a Torah. Uh, that's right. The word, word of God. Word again, of God. You know? And interesting that why again, again we have a, we have a, um, if we have a Greco Romans attitude or approach to the preaching, we we give oh, as much as you know the better as much as you know the better Hebrew approach approach to this. I know this, I study this to experience him in my life, not to know more. You know, I know I need to know to experience him in that step by step, to know him and how he acted in my life. Okay, let's, you know, the um, wrapping up uh, because we have a 13 minutes about what can be happen if we have a lack of knowledge? Oh, we perished. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> Can you see? <laughs>
<laughs> the Bible said so. All right. <laughs> you know, uh, yes. Um, now, interesting that uh, in this uh, situation, we're trying to change the world, but we should be transformed by Him ourselves. And when we transform, that people will see that. So if we challenge ourselves, of course, you know, we'll be just challenging around, yeah? Yes, yes. And, um, okay, we go. Uh, what we Let's go we start about the Eli. Uh, uh, let's talk. All right, there is um, King's... Uh, let me take this. Okay. Because you... Pushing me forward. <laughs> okay. Do you know about the timing on our show? Yeah, it's... Um, our dear viewers, if you like to study more, please welcome for our Shabbat service every Saturday, 11 o'clock in the morning on Beacon Street. And please call us. We offer, we offer the Bible study or the, some uh, workshops or some seminars to study more about what is the knowledge and what is the lack of knowledge. Who have to bring the knowledge and what for knowledge? Okay, okay, I'd like to read uh, chapter 3, mm -hmm. First Samuel. Okay. Okay. And the child Samuel ministered into the Lord before Eli. Mm -hmm. And the word of the Lord was pre uh, precious in those days. There was no open visions. Aha. Uh -huh. In many translations, there is written, uh, uh, the word of God was rare. Mm -hmm. In those days, the word of the Lord was rare, and there were not many visions. Okay, let's talk about uh, a little bit of this. It's Israel, yeah? Yes. A territory of, okay, Palestine, Israel, whatever. In the time of judges, and that is a uh, very uh, Restricted religious day, seasons, services, everything at order. That's right, everything at order. Mm -hmm. And look at this, the word of the Lord was rare. What does that mean? And reading uh, the Samuel further, where we, we can see that Eli was not giving the word of God. Because we can see by the fruits, by his sons, what they've been doing, the whole story. You know? And the God is raising up the Samuel. Exactly, I would say, in this church, yeah? And the word of the Lord was rare because the services were there. Activity was there, Activity the services, there. you know, the everything. But you know, Eli was mm -hmm. not giving the, the word, word of God. the Lord. By the fruits we can see. And look at this. I would presume that, and people like that. Mm -hmm. Nobody saying anything, you know. Nobody saying it because they like it. Because there was no um, word of God about sin, about repentance. We see again. And the people like this. Because there is a good comfort zone. Don't say anything negative for me. The good word negative, yeah. Not correction. Negative or just just give me just give me a, a, a something like like uh, religious drugs to be happy mm -hmm. And that, that this very moment uh, Samuel who we're, we're reading through the uh, in, in this uh, Chapter 3 in chapter 1 chapter 4. We'll, we'll, we'll come, we will touch this Samuel was saying only Pronouncing saying telling only word of God nothing come out from his mouth just word of God. And everything was fulfilled. That's right. Because it was word of God. Samuel would never been ashamed what he said. And the first, as a prophet job, God gave him what? He came to Eli and said, your line as a priest will be cut off. What a prophecy, yeah? Mm -hmm. Do we have today such a prophet? Today, is a, most of the time, prophets are happy ending. Yeah. Oh, you're going to you have make this. It. You're you going to make it. You're you going to make it. You will be a big minister. Yeah. You will be that, 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 that. You know what? There is the first 
message from God. He came to judge us at the end of story, man. And we're reading next. We're reading next. Uh, if we consider the only God's word were coming from the mouth of the Samuel, we read, Samuel said, yeah, you have to go to the war. Mm -hmm. That was God's war, uh, um, word. They went to the war by God's command. They lost 4,000 people. Yes. Is that God sent people to die? Is that God sent? And the first, again, to the nation, prophets that go there, the people can uh, ask a legitimate question, why, why you send us there? They, and, you know, or, or relatives. 4,000 people, brother, sister, husbands, children, dead. What is that? Can we have an answer from this? God never sent us to die. But there is one thing. If we, if we study Bible in, in Hebrew way, if we have a clue, we're looking for the, uh, for the clue in different things. Can you, can you check um, Exodus 19? Yes, I remember, you know, uh -huh. for the sake of the time. Yeah. Uh, we said, to the Lord, yes, what Moses, you know, that all the God will be doing everything what you told us through Moses. And we will do everything yes, we'll what, do what everything. God asked us. Yes. Look at this. Yes, everything. God never sent you to die, but we promised and God will send us to be uh, tested, uh, tested mm -hmm. to be in challenge, you know. And uh, interesting that we have, a, now we have a soldiers, if we, if we are in the army of the Lord, we are soldiers. We're sitting in barracks, we're screaming, we are victorious. We're writing leaflets and spreading. The, we're spreading. victorious only yes. in barracks. Mm -hmm. We're dancing there. David never danced in, in, in barracks. David danced outside because yes. he was victorious. He was no, no, never ashamed to dancing outside. He it's was a witness. victorious. It's a witness. Yes. And remember that story with Milhol mm -hmm. and, uh, and Jewish people dancing outside. Outside. Yeah, it's a witnessing. And what is happening? The, the next we're reading, 3 4 uh, chapter. They lost 4,000 people. They gather uh, concilium, they gather the committee from teachers, priests, uh, judges, and they said, okay, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Hello. <gasps> we forgot the ark. Mm -hmm. We forgot the ark. I want to tell you, that, okay, they brought the ark and they asked to bring the ark to ungodly people we through the um, Samuel already. Prophesied, you know, Samuel yes. already prophesied that that ungodly people would be cut off. It's sons of Eli. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Dirty hands they bring it because it's like a family business, you know? This. Yes, yes. Yeah, and uh, they brought the ark. Corruption, yeah, yes. Yeah, they, they broke the ark and they said, okay. They start to scream. We're victorious in the barracks, mm -hmm. not even going that. Yeah. We're doing a lot of this in churches. We're screaming, we're dancing, we, we, we conquered this world. But when come out from the barracks, you know, what and happened? They went, when they come out, you know what, even, even uh, 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 enemies were a little bit scary, uh, scared. When they come out, they lost 30,000. Yes. Hey, you know, I want to tell you, if today you're not looking for the right place to worship, mm -hmm. the right where is not a rare word of God, you will pay the price. You will pay the price. You will pay the price. Mm -hmm. Whatever it be, because God will test you. you look at this. And if you th think that those who are not giving you a right word and are not uh, teaching you to be equipped. Not the challenge to, you. To, yes. to be equipped to fight, but giving you religious uh, uh, narcotics, you're good, you can sleep, be, be happy, and all this stuff, you know, you will be paying the price yes. eventually. You will be paying the price. And nobody will remember you. Those who are giving you religious, religious uh, drugs, they will never remember you. Because remember what Eli was saying. He lost 34,000 people. And what he asked? He what he asked, where is the ark? He yes. said, yeah, where is my meta, me, 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 uh, metal, methodology? Where is my... Uh, uh, equipment. Where yes. is my this and this and this? He thought. Where is he, my office? War for, for, Where is my office? He thought. You know. He thought that he has a, he has a god in a pocket, mm -hmm. or in this box. You know. And before they win, but God not in the box. Do you know the how? You know, b b god. God cannot. God is God, 
And when people saying, oh, we have a, really, we have a uh, healing uh, crusade, that the same story, you know, we have a Lord in our box, we can bring ark, we can bring stars, we can bring la la la, and we can win the battle. No, 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 baloney. You will be praying, paying the price eventually. Three of you, you will be paying. If you are not making decision today to find the destiny from God, what God for you wants for you to do in his job, in his uh, process of saving this world. This is so often, um, and we try to encourage you today. When you're looking for the church, what do you look for? It's close to my house. Of course, not waste my gas. Consumation. Or, of course, you know, just if it's what you have for Sunday school, for my teenager boys, for my girls who is, have to be just in toddler. Mm -hmm. We're looking for this whole, this stuff surrounding. But do we pray? Do we think about, you know, when God called us to be in the church? When God called us, you know, to choose the leaders, you know, who will be teach us? Do we pray for this? Usually we look, you know, what is close to us what is very close and convenient and comfort for us. But the gospel in the church, it's nothing about us. It's everything about to go and preach, go and preach. Where get God can use you to preach for the world. And we'd like to tell you today again and again, please think seriously about this timing, about to looking for the church, looking for your pastors, looking for your leaders, where you're going to stay. Because we don't want we don't want you to perish. And welcome, welcome again you know, for our Bible study. Please call us and write us emails and we'd love you know, to meet you and just talk. Just talk to you what God opened to us would like to share to you. Thank you so much for watching us. Thank you. Thank you, Sergey, for coming. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you for this wonderful subject. Because I know this very short time. This is why we again and again oh, invite bigger. us, yeah. you know, for our Bible study, for our Shabbat service. Every Saturday. Shabbat, it's a Saturday. Every Saturday, 11 o'clock in the morning. Welcome, 874 Beacon Street, Boston. God bless. Good Shalom. Bless